across the eye If you can be good, you live forever If you're bad, you'll die when you die Hearing only one true note On the one and only sound Unzip my body, take my heart out Cause I need a beat to give this Not the shoe sock combo. Absolutely not. <laughs> you destroy me. This is these are my comfort drag shoes. You bastard. I should have put on a heel or something. Uh, no shots of this in the film. This is not the look. I realized when I got here today I knew I needed to film but I'd worn the most shab outfit ever that I was like, oh my God, must find something more glam. Thank God I'd brought this for later. Jeez. Yeah? Yeah. We're going on the move? Let's go. Yeah. Where are we going? Um, I actually couldn't even tell you the name of the place or exactly where it is, but in Stoke Newington, there's two giant art supply type stores next to each other with lots of like, Mostly fabric, uh -huh. but I'm crossing my fingers that they'll have yarn. I really need some red yarn to make a like doll wig for Sink the Pink Toys Ball on on Saturday. Okay. I'm going as the very famous uh, American doll Raggedy Ann, who has red yarn hair. She's a bit creepy, but not as creepy as like the troll dolls or anything like that. Um, and luckily, I have the majority of the items to make the look, but I need some red yarn, which hopefully isn't too expensive because I don't like spending money. And that's the shop we want to go into. I want red, but like, do I want dark red, brighter red? Do I want this like chunky, super chunky, super chunky? I have a feeling I want this one, but there's also some over here. Are these like, these are really thin. Okay, I don't want that. Double knit. This looks like quality. I don't care about quality. <laughs> That's close. I mean, it's pretty much the same. Who's really going to be able to tell? <laughs> I mean, black wings good. It's not perfect, but what is? Not certainly not me. Certainly not you. <laughs> And that's 460, is that right? Perfect. Thank you very, very much. Can you just look in the camera a second? Yep. Okay, Are you focusing on my sparkling eyes? When I first started doing drag, I watched one YouTube tutorial on contouring, and then I was awful. But I, I started going to sink the pink, and I would just sit and do my makeup really slowly while watching the other girls. And because everyone was so amazing and lovely and accepting immediately, um, including Robin with a Y who's gonna be performing tonight, Robin was sitting next to me and she just kept giving me little tips, like, oh, like when you're doing your lashes, like you gotta, you gotta do this, blah, blah, blah. And then someone else was sitting next to me and they were like, yeah, I like to add this here so that it like kind of makes my nose look smaller. And I was like, oh, I could use my nose smaller. Um, and really, like, it just took time and practice and learning more and more little tips from the people around me that my makeup went from, I would say, basic at best to, I don't 
don't know. Some people think I do my makeup pretty well. I like to think I know how to work with my face now. Hi, Simon. Well, your blouse matches your eyes. What? Your blouse matches your eyes. Oh, yeah, a bit. Some of the colours. Yeah. Generous evening, isn't oh, it? Oh, look. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't make the rules. Just kidding. Hi. Thank you very much, Hello. lovely. Hi. Solly Wally Wonky. Hi, Joseph. Hi. I loved you. Um, I loved you last week. This is effort, but oh, I lost that in my mind, though. Have you said a bit of it? I can show you my phone. I'm happy with it, but um, I lost that in my mind, so I've been I can show you the whole thing. Okay. It's a real one. It's better than my one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I didn't ask for this. I don't know why God gave me so many gifts. I'm going to do some tape. Background card. You all right? Looking forward, nervous? No, this is bondage tape. This one's not going to stick to the walls. This will work, but. Yeah, it's a little bit. I don't know you're only watching, but you're Maybe I'll sabotage her and not give it to me. When I was at, in high school and university, it took me a while to come out as gay. And I thought, like, okay, once I do, I'll be a gay boy, a gay man, and it'll be great and it'll all make sense. Like, okay, I've finally come out, let's do this. And I found that a lot of the spaces that I thought, like, okay, now... You know, I didn't feel comfortable in these straight spaces, but now I can go into the gay sphere and it'll be great. But I also found that, once again, I was not fitting in. I could force myself to, you know, I'm an amazing actor, I could pretend that I fit in. Um, but I still felt like the odd one out. And it was really not until I came here to London and like discovered a thriving queer community that I realized Ah, oh, that's what's up with me. Okay, I'm just actually a weirdo. Um, like, I'm a queer weirdo. I'm a queirdo. All along the gender spectrum, you can exist wherever you want, and you don't have to be a he or a she. You can be neutral, you can be they, but you can also be a he and a she and a they. For me, I feel very much somewhere in between, but also able to flow really wherever my mind takes me. It's a bit like, it's a cross between Harvey Milk and Phil. Um, and the story about the rise of HIV. Um, Is everyone ready for me, Chuck? You're blue, so I'll put your What's the surface? So you need to have a sign for it, high for it. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Jack is here, amazing. Jack, are you scared? It's all posted. You have to wait for it. It's <laughs> My, 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 my fingers are too fat to Snapchat as well. I only had Snapchat is trial and error. This looks good. Yeah, you look good. I went upstairs for like all of five seconds and I could feel it like melting off and I was like, oh my god. It's really hot out there, isn't it? It's fucking boiling. Okay, I always forget that I can't actually open my mouth. Ah, has it just popped? Has it popped off? Ooh, no. Uh, Sophie. Sophie. Um, I asked Johnny if I could ask Farah a few questions about things. He is going to be coming down. No worries, no worries. I was just going to 
check. Thank you. We have time anyway. I was going to ask if you want to do something else, but I know that you've probably been practicing that face for the picture, so. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. My head doesn't look very round, does it? It's a bit lumpy. What is lumpy? <laughs> Film star, just a full time <laughs> filmmaker. Oh gosh, if we're in my room, maybe I don't want to be wearing my old college t-shirt. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, but it's not... It's not very glamorous, and That's I true. I like to like pretend I'm a glamorous drag queen and not just an old grandpa. The truth is, I'm more grandma than transvestite. Uh oh, maybe a turtleneck wasn't the right idea. Hmm. You know what would have been good? Like a collared shirt. So that I can like tuck it under the collar, right? Or a black shirt so that you can't see it. Because that's very visible, isn't it? It's true. It's kind of fashion. Maybe it's a look. Maybe, oh, you know what I'll do? It just... Now we're sorted. Mm. There we go. And this is also very accurate. But I was talking about my clothes. I mean, this is only like a very small amount of my wardrobe because there's two entire other racks, <clears throat> plus four tubs, and under your feet, mm -hmm. a bed's worth. But in this, in this region, didn't pay for, 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 I did pay for. Um, bought at a charity shop, so really cheap. Didn't pay for, super cheap. Didn't pay for, didn't pay for, didn't pay for, didn't pay for. Hand me down, f free, bought. But, uh, not, uh, ooh. as you, uh, I don't, I don't buy things. Don't buy new things. This was a gift, I just, try to collect lots of stuff. For me, it's more about quantity over quality. I just have so much clothes that it seems like I have really amazing clothes. But if you look closely, actually, no, it's all amazing. Are you kidding me? This is probably the most expensive item in the whole rack. And I mean, I mean, you can tell, can't you? Gorgeous, darling. Drag. That's like real drag. <laughs> most of my drag is like, crap that people have just like given me but some of it's amazing like this is like a velvet robe that looks kind of like a space priest might wear it and this was just given to me by my boss because she saw it in a charity shop and thought looks like Shay Shay I'd also love to get a tan but it seems quite impossible in this country I was hoping while I was in California to maybe get some sun but uh, California had the most, like, torrential weather they'd had in decades while I was there. Floods. A reservoir nearly burst and drowned a whole town. That was fun. I wasn't there, but still, it was crazy. Uh-oh. I mentioned California. Gender is so embedded in the way we're brought up. Like the images we see when we're children, all the books we read, all the films we watch, and just the family members we know for the most part, most people only know 
men and women as two separate things. Um, I think only in the last couple years um, has people who break those gender boundaries gotten much more recognition in the public sphere. You're seeing a lot more people in popular culture who are not um, confined to the ends of the gender spectrum being either a fully masculine man or a beautiful feminine woman and being able to recognize that people exist everywhere within that spectrum has allowed me and a lot of other people, uh, I'm sure, to realize that actually as much as you know, some people, people do exist on both ends of being a man or a woman and people exist everywhere in between. There's a lot of people that exist in multiple spaces depending on the time and the circumstances. Um, I know that for me, sometimes I feel very much like a woman. I would never dare to say that I am a woman because I've not had to go through the plight of being a woman. Um, but sometimes I feel like what I believe a woman would feel like. And sometimes I feel more masculine and do sometimes feel like a man. Very rarely would I say that I represent what being a man is. But sometimes I feel, you know, I am a version of a man. You know, there's millions of different types of men. And depending on where you are in the world, um, men and women's roles and what is uh, expected of them changes. There's lots of people who are gay or lesbian or LGBTQ, somewhere in that, who aren't actually queer. Um, and they'd probably be okay with not being part of the queer community. But I would argue that we need them a lot and our straight allies to like all exist with under the under this queer umbrella um, because the more people that kind of stand up openly and say no I do not fit at the ends of the spectrum no I don't fit in this box that society says I should then the more people will feel more comfortable breaking those boundaries because there's so many adults and older people who never got to live authentic lives because society would not have allowed it. And still, as many barriers that are in place in our society today, we do have the advantage of pushing that and breaking them down and trying to lassoing more and more people under the queer net and building it out and letting more people in to the amazing freedom that it feels to be able to be queer in whatever way being queer is to you. The more that we can be open and transparent about all the irregular, all the irregular things about us, not that you know being regular means anything, um, but all the, all the unusual but amazing characteristics of the queers and the, and the gender nonconformers. Um, we should be open and, and, and as brave as we can at bearing it all to the world. Man, he needs a woman. He's got to have a woman. Man makes everything he can. But you see, a woman makes a, a better man. A woman makes a, a better man.